Matos, you send it to die. And if it's an Oshom, it's what? It cannot be used. We told this person, this woman, that her husband annulled her, um, her Nazirus, and she already set aside a Chatos and a Shlomim and an Ola. So it says the Ola is brought, the Shlomim is brought, <coughs> but the Chatos is Mesos. What would be if you had a similar, similar situation with an Oshom? An Oshom? Let's say a person uh, consecrated Oshom dies. So it says the Oshom is what? Cannot be brought. The more cited a posuk, the more says, "Lomeli kro gemoro gemoro gemiru lon." What do we do? Posuk that chatos dies. It's a it's a it's a lochel mosh misinai. Koshim chatos meis oshim v'oshim roa. Whenever you have a situation, let's say the case where the person dies, the person had kapora, which says the chatos dies and the oshim is sent out to graze till it gets a mum, and you take the money and you buy an ola. Ochanami. The more says it's true. Chiyosur. The drab, the posuk, is for rab. Dom Rav Funam Rav Osh Shenditek Riyav Shok Neshem Ovel Koshim. Yeah, meaning, let's say he had an Oshem. Person was uh, had an Oshem. The Oshem goes lost, brings another Oshem. Now they locate that Oshem. So what do you do with the Oshem? Person already had Kapora. Can't bring another Oshem. So it says you let it grace. It, it's ruled. You send it out to grace. What happens after was it was ruled that they send it out to grace. They took the that Oshem. And they brought it as an ola. It's valid. It's because since it already was ruled, it should be sent to graze. So therefore, when you slaughter it as an ola, it's kosher. Okay? Time of the nitik. The only reason why it's valid as an osha, as an ola, because it already was designated to be sent off to graze, that its value is ola. Holo nitik lo. But if it wasn't nitak, meaning it wasn't removed from its osham status, then what that word doma krohu about the osh it remains an osham. So if you bring the osham as as an ola, it from it's what it's not valid. You understand? Let's say the court didn't have anything in mind, and you bring an osham normally, it's kosh, and the person needs an osham. It's valid. What about he doesn't need the osham? No, 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 no. That's only if he brings it for someone else, or he brings it for another korban. Let's say he has not, nothing. He knows he's bringing korban. He doesn't know what it is. He has him whatever it is. Let it be. That that that's the coin. 100% kosher. Chatos, he has whatever it is, let it be. Okay? It's fu fully atoned, he fulfilled his obligation. It's only if he takes the chatos, he has mind, it should be another carbon. It should be a, a, it should be an ola, that kind of situation. Okay? So here we're talking about, let's say you had an osham, the court ruled that he doesn't need it. Let it go graze. And then after the court says, let it be what it is. So the question, what's its essence? Is its essence Ola, Osham, or is it Ola? So we say, if actually it was brought as an Ola, it's valid. Why? Because since it already was designated, what's its value? Its value is to get a mum, to be blemished and sell it, and use its value to buy an Ola. So even if it's brought as an Ola, it's valid. But let's say the court didn't rule this way, right? And you brought it as an Ola, it's not valid. That's what it says. It's only because it was nitik, nitik it was uprooted. It was removed from its original status to be for something else. But if it wasn't, there says who? It has the status of, of an Oshom, and it's not valid. Okay. We had earlier that a person was a Nazir, set a cer certain amount of money, but didn't I say this money should be used for the Chatos, this money should be used for all this money should be used for the Shlamim? We said that the money, and the person dies. What do you do with the money? It says it's given to the Beis Amigdosh, and it's called Nidvas Mizbeh. They purchase Olas, and they bring Ola. Even though part of the money originally was meant to be used for a chatos, and if it's a chatos, we said, let's say the person before he dies designates this money should be used to purchase a chatos. What do you do with that money? We said, you take the Yama Melach, you destroy the money to the Dead Sea, and you dispose of it. But let's say the money was he, enough money to cover all three korbanos of the Nazir, and then the person dies, but the money was not identified to be, wasn't allocated to, to anything specific, which is general. The Allah is, that money is used for the Mizbeach, Versus an Ola. And that's how, how do I know that? Halochum should be seen. That's sort of Yochanan. Omar Mar, Halochu in Nazir. It's Halochum should be seen. It's called most stumen. Mo money that was not identified for what specific purpose. It's Nidvas Mizbeach. You donate it to the Mizbeach. They buy an Ola and they bring it as an Ola. So Mar asks a question. The Sulek, it's only specifically the money that was meant to be used for the Nazir. 
What about if a woman was a Yolidus? A woman gave birth, she has to bring also chatos. And she takes money, set, uh, one bird is a chatos, one bird is an ola, right? She brings two birds. Let's say she takes money she didn't identify, and then subsequently she dies. What do you do with the money? So the halacha is also, you use it for the mizbech, you buy an ola. So that's the question. Why is Rabbi Yochanan saying that halacha Mishim Yisina is only addressing the money of the nazir? What about the money of the Yolidus, the one who gives birth? What about a person's in Mitzora? He has money, he dies. So what do you do with the money? It was, he originally was set aside to purchase the carbonus that he needs. One of his carbonus is what? It's also a chatos. It's a chatos and a nosha. It's also it's a lochum shmi sinai. That what? The money is used. Benid bas mizbeach. You purchase an olaf for the mizbeach, and you bring it as a communal offering. So whatever it is, Rabbi Yochanan say it's only limited. It seems to be nazir. There's nothing other than nazir. Or Tanya, we learned the bray shachai v'kinim. You have other situations where a, woman, a person has to bring birds. And the birds, one bird is a chatos, one bird is an olo. Shevetor she frishu mos l'kineim. These people, whether it's the woman who gave birth or the mitzora, set aside money to purchase birds. But didn't specify which, which bird. What money is used for the chatos, what money is used for the olo. Rots lovi ben chatos, behemo yovi. If he wants to use that money to purchase a, a chatos behemo, he can. Olas behemo yovi. Mess, what about if he dies? I mean, he's alive, and let's say he brings it, now he has the money, he could use, do that, use that money for a chatos or for a nola, because originally it was meant to be used for a chatos and to be divided. What happens if he dies? And he did not designate that money as any, anything specific. Okay? But the money had a potential to bring chatos and an ola. Loya mostumin. And it was money which was not identified. Like stam. It was not identified. Yitlulinadova. The money falls, meaning it's given as a donation to the Mizbeach, and they purchase an Ola. Tono. So, if that's it, what is Rabbi Yochanan saying? Allah only addresses Nazir. Here we have a Bryce that says, you have other situations. You have the case of the, the Yoledis and the case of the Mitzorah. The same thing. And that verse is Tono. Nazir Chaybikin in Gomenle. Meaning, Rabbi Yochanan, when he said, it's, hal- it's a Halochim Moshe Misinai that money of the Nazir is used for the Nidvas Mizbeach, it's not that, but other things which are similar to that. The Chavikinin, which are similar to that. So Tosef, what was mean similar? Because you have one obligation, and the obligation <coughs> brings about multiple Korbanos. Nazir, you have one, ob- he finishes Naziris, and has multiple Korbanos. The woman who gives birth, she gives one, gives birth, brings multiple Korbanos. A person is a Metzorah leper, he recovers from his leprosy, when he recovers, he was, he was a, his Naziris brought about multiple results, multiple respons- obligation. So because it's all similar. The Torah says regarding those similar situations, if the money was not identified to any particular carbon, the man dies, the money falls to the Mizbeach. And it's used to purchase Ola on the Mizbeach. Okay? So Mara says, La Fukin the Tanya. This comes to argue with what we learned in the Braisa. Listen to this. Misho Yimachuyib Chatos. First was obligated to bring the Chatos. Voma harei olayolo. Person was obligated to bring a chatos, and sep person inadvertently violated Shabbos. And he makes a commitment. He says, I accept upon myself an obligation to bring an ola. Unrelated to the chatos, okay? Vifrish mos. And now he sets aside money. He says, this money is for my karma. But he wasn't clear what he meant. Was it for the chatos? Or was it for this new obligation which he accepts upon himself as an ola? What do you do with the money? Now the man dies. No, no, but he, 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 he didn't identify for what it was. He says, let this be for my obligation. He has a double obligation. Did he mean A or did he mean B? If he meant A, you can't use the money. The money has to be destroyed. Because a chatas with the only dies, what do you do with the money? You have to destroy the money. But if you meant the Ola, then you provide, but we don't know what he meant. That's the discussion. Set aside money. This money is to cover my obligation. If you want to bring chatos, you can't bring a chatos. He's alive. Because he himself says, he said, uh, he used a language, it's not clear, is it A or B? He used an ambiguous language, and if he asked him, what did you mean? He says, I don't know what I meant. But since within the language it covered, it could cover either. So if it meant, if, if it could be Olo, you can't use a chatos. And if he meant chatos, you can't use a Olo, right? Rotzlovi ben chatos, behemot lo yovi. 
Oldest Bayman Lo Yavi can't bring either. Mess. What about if he dies? Vahoyelo Mo Stumin. He dies and he had money that was not identified. Yechli Yama Melech. The money has to be destroyed. Why can you say it right? Because it's either one. Now, Omer Avashi. So, um, yeah. When it says if the money was specifically designated, so specifically, until now, we have, what's, what's being specific? It was explicit. Mufurosh means explicit. He took money, he says, this money should be used to purchase a chatos, this should be used for an ola, this should be used for a shlomo. So, what do you do with the money for the chatos? It has to be destroyed. And he dies, or he was atoned. So, Rav Yochanan says, Ravashi says, it, of course, that's what, but it means even even less than that. Listen to this. What about if he says, the furosh means that if he says, this pile of money should be purchased a chatos, that definitely, that money has to be destroyed. What about he says, let this money be used for A, B, C. He didn't say which part of the money. But he said, A, B, C. That's enough that you destroy all the money. You have to destroy the money. Here? Because the halochal mishsinai of most stum means, he didn't say, he just said, this is for my obligation. This is for my nazirus. This is for my, because I gave birth. But if he, uh, once he already articulates, chatos shlomim ola, that's where he's being specific. Svarwise, really the money should be destroyed. Right, because it's intermingled. Because that money originally was meant to purchase a chatos. So what are we going to say? If you don't identify the money for its usage, the money falls to the mezbeach. Use it to buy an ola. Now the question is, what's called not identifying it? So Ravashi says, not it doesn't mean you have to identify this money is for chatos. If you say the money should be used for ABC, that's sufficient identification. It's already, you've identified that to the... To which money part of its chatos? You don't know? You have to destroy all the money. So what's most stumen? Stumen means, he says, this money be, should be my obligation as a nausea. Anything more specific than that, the Allah Hushinah doesn't apply to that. So if it doesn't apply, you have to destroy all the money. Because ed, any part of the money, we're not sure which part of the money was meant to be the chatos. Because chatos, a chatos, a person could only be atoned if you're obligated. A person dies. A person dies, you can't be atoned anymore. Correct? So what do you do with it? You can't bring a chatos, so what do you do with the money? You can't buy another carbon with it, because the, the kedusha that the money has is chatos. You can't put it to effect, so you have to destroy it. Right? Of course, no, you can bring it all as, as, a, as, as a voluntary. All that could be brought voluntarily. A chatos could only be brought in the context of obligation. Person wants to donate a chatos. Can't donate a chatos. If I want to voluntarily consecrate an animal to be an ola, to be a shlomi, that I could do. First, inadvertently violent shabbos. He has an obligation. He has to bring a chatos. Not because he can't finish. He just, a, a, a person died. You can't atone the person died. It's after the fact. Or let's say it went lost and they located it after it went lost. Or he purchased it with other money. It's already too late. So what do you do with the money now? The chatos that he was obligated already was covered. So what's this money going to be used for? He, he no longer has an obligation of a chatos. So you have to dispose of the money. No, no. Right. It's, it's, it's individualized. Okay? Ika So the first version of Ravashi is 
even if he didn't say which money is for chatos, he says within this money there's chatos, all and shlamim. The Allah Hussein doesn't apply there. The money has, all the money has to be destroyed. Ikad diam in another version, Amr Ravashi, lo tem ad the Amr el chatosi, lo olosi, lo shlamim. Filoma elu le chovosi. He says this should be for my obligation. Harelu can force. That's already being too specific. Yeah? He says this should be for my obligation as a nosi. Because Chov already, it's my obligation. This already alludes <coughs> to his multiple, his multiple obligations. One is a chatos. Right, 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 right. Good. He says he, he can't say anything. He can't say anything. He has to say. He has to say if he says anything. He, he thinks he puts sense aside to mind. He doesn't verbalize anything. But he thought. But he didn't verbalize. That's the case where. It, and then he's atoned or he dies. That's when it's used for the mizbeach. But it, he says once he says chovosi, that's already too much. Because obligation includes within it the chatos. This is the story. That that we say, if the money wasn't identified, you used that money to purchase the Ola for the Mizveach. Let's say a coin of originally this money, you know, identified. And then there was other money that was Chathis intermingled with this money. That's already because now you're not sure which is the Chathis money. You're not sure, so since you're not sure, all the money has to be destroyed. Okay? So which means, so what's if he's alive? Let's say you, I designate money to be a chatos, and I'm still obligated. What do I do? I purchase a chatos. What? So once I purchase, the kedusha of the money goes on to the animal. So that's what he's saying. If let's say you have money of chatos falls among that money, you had money, right? And now it falls in there. And now I go and I transfer that kedusha of the chatos out. That money, do I still look at it? And as most stumi. What do I say? Since there was a moment that it was unclear which was what, now if the man dies, you can't use all the money for an Ola. You divide the money, half if you buy a shlum and half you buy an Ola. If he if let's say it was money which wasn't identified and he dies, the money is used all for an Ola. But let's say there was a moment you couldn't use all the money for an Ola. Because Khatas money intermingled in there. That means there was a moment it was unclear what was what the halachim shina doesn't apply to that situation at all. So what happens if the man dies or the man's atoned? The money itself is now used, divided half for chatos, half for, sh- half for shlamim, half for olam. Okay, Tanya, turn the page. Tanya kavosi the rubber. We have a brisa that supports rubber. Elu lechatosi v'ashor l'shad nusurusai. Hear this? Let's say the person says this money should be used for my chatos and the balance should be used for my other obligations. Okay? So what do you do with it? And then the man dies. I turn the page. So the money that was designated for the chatos, you destroy, goes to the Yamela, to the Dead Sea. Hashar Yovi, and the balance, Yovi Chetzio Lola, Chetzio Lishlomi. Right? Once you start identifying any part of the money, then that's not called most stumen. The halochum you should see most stumen that we see it as generic money that's where you didn't identify anything. The moment you even de- uh, spend part of the money, say this should be the chatos, the halochum you should say doesn't apply to that money any longer. So the money that was identified in the chatos you destroy, the balance is used for chatos, if for shlamim, if for olam. Okay? Chetzi olam, olam, chetzi olam, shlamim. Umolim bekulon, veimolim bekitzosan. When are you moel? You only moel, now, chatos that has to be destroyed. It lets you benefit from that money. You have to bring a korban mila. Mila means something that's consecrated because it has relevance to the base of Migdosh and it's, 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 it's viable. You're not permitted to benefit from it. If you benefit, what do you have to bring? Inadvertently, you have to bring a korban. 
the money of the chattas where the person died or the person already had kapora. What is its value? It has no value. That money has to be destroyed. So let's you benefit from that money. One does not to bring korban, korban mila. Right? Elo losi bashar l'shar nirusi. Yeah. What about he says, this money has the money, enough money to cover all three kapora. says, this money let it be used for my ola. And the rest should be for my nizirus. The meola, you meola, mola men. So the money that was designated ola, if you benefit the money, you moil. Because that's viable money. Hashar yibaluna dava. The balance, umol in bekulon, they mold with trust. And you only mold if you benefit from all the money. Because since part of the money is a shlomim, you benefit from a shlomim, you're not moil. Because the shlomim is consumed by the, by the, by the owner. Omer afun, omer avlo, shan elamos. That that we say, there's a lot of you see now when you have money in generic, generic money where nothing was identified, that we say that if the man dies or the man had kapora, the money is given to the mizbeach and he purchases an older, that's only if we're dealing with cash, money. It's a lot of you see now. Avul behema, harek Let's say he took three, let's say he took animals. We'll see in he took Now, a chatos is a female. The ola is a male. And the shlomim has to be two years old. So he didn't say anything. He says, this a- he, he purchased three animals. But the, the gender and the age of the other two, each one is immediately identified. He buys three animals, didn't say a word. He says, this should be one of my carbonas, that should be one of my carbonas, that should be one of my carbonas. So what, what do you think the female is? The female is a chatos. Can't be used for anything else. And what's, what's the animal that's uh, less than two years old? That's an ola. And the one that's two years old, that's a shlomim. Right? Omer of Nachman, Hodam Ebeima of Arikum Fureshes. That that we say that if you set aside the animals, it's like being specific, explicit, which, what, which animals should use for what. Loshan al Bitimimo. That's only if the animals are unblemished. Here? If they're unblemished animals, so that means you're ready, designated, each one can be used as a korban in its own right. Avul Balasmum. Let's see, he takes three animals, even though they're the gender and the age, but they're, they're blemished. So what's the value? They have no value. You can't be put them on this bear, so they're no different than money. What's the difference? I take the animal with blemish and I cons- consecrate it, or I take money and say this money should be used for my carbonus. These three animals you should make, but they, they themselves can't be used for the carbonus because they're blemished. No, no, they, they're already blemished. They don't have to graze it. You have to redeem them. So therefore, what is the value of these animals? The, the, the animals are like cash. You take the kedusha and you purchase a regular unblemished animal. Like you take the cash, the money you purchase. An unblemished animal, the exact same thing. So that's what he says. Omer Abdachman, hold the Omer Behema Rekum Fureshes. If you have the three animals, and each one in its own right identifies with the particular korban, that's only if they're unblemished where they could be brought as the korban. Right? Abu Balis Muma Rehi, Kistuma, that's like generic money. Abu Naskalo, what about if it's a piece of silver? Takes three pieces of silver, and he puts, and he says, he thinks th- these, th- 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 it should be for what? It should be for the carbonos. I don't know. What, what's, why silver not? Right? Silver not. Why silver any worse than what? Than, um, let's see what he says by silver. Yeah, yeah, kesef. Yeah. It's interesting. Same. If you take three animals... And, one, and they're all blemished, that's stooming. But if you take, let's say, three piles of silver, you take a silver bar that you purchase with that bar of chathos, and you take another bar that the, the value is an ola, and the other one's a shlami. That, that's not, that's, that's not called, that's called mifur roshim. The alochem should be sina is that if the man dies, the what? It, 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 all, the, all the value cannot be used as an ola. I, so what, so I mean, how do you understand what difference between the three blemished animals or three pieces of silver? Right? It's, it seemingly should be the same. It's, it's difficult. And that Rav Nachli Yitzchom, I feel nascha. I feel social koros. I mean, it's value. What difference does it make if it's, if it's what? You take cash, or you take uh, bullion, or you take uh, three piles of, of, of beams. Right? The, the value of the lumber. Om Rav Sibar Ashi, the Rav Popa, my time the Rav Onadam, Mos, what do we say? It's money, not the animal, not the silver, and not the pile of beams. 
right? Because so what do you say? Because the lost machine, it has to be coins. Yep, it's exerse a If it's coins, they weren't identified. If the man dies, use them for over. Anything other, animals, beams, bullion, that does not go to the Mizveh. See, yes, good question. So why not? Elamata most for the Ophos. So when you say, let's say a woman, she buys two birds to be used for her carbonos as uh, your leathers. Then she dies. Taloch is, what do you use the birds for? Taloch is, use the birds as uh, all this Mizveh. When we say the same thing, it's to say it's cash, it's coins, minted coins, and not birds. Just as we excluded the animals, and we excluded the bullion, and we excluded the, 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 the lumber, right? So why don't we exclude birds? Yet the halachas, if you buy birds and you don't identify what the birds are, and you let us, and then she dies, it could be used for the Yola or the Mizbeach. Right? That's kasha. Most low ofos, maybe it's Maybe it's true. Maybe if you have two birds and she didn't identify what the birds are and subsequently she dies, they can't be used. He says, the birds, when you, either the birds can become an older a rachatos, that's either when the owner, the one who is required to bring birds, purchases two birds. One is a chatos as, a, as, a, as an older initially, or the person purchases it generically, goes to the bird market, says, I need two birds for my carbonus as a, as a woman who just gave birth. What, what's the status of birds? They're both Kodesh. Which is the Ochatus, which is the old? We don't know. So who's going to designate it? The Kohen designates it. So what do you see clearly? That you could have Stumin, you could have where it's generic, and either bird could be used either for the Ochatus or either for the, for the Ola. That's not called, they've been identified. That's the Kasha. Ibasi is Kohen. It's, 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 again, Domer of Chizda, Enakinim, as far as Eli Ibil, Kichas Balim. It's either they take on their identity, either when the, the owner purchases it initially, the birds, Ibasi is Kohen. Gemara asks, Abai ho most gemirin lo. But we, if the halacha mishusine is, it has to be identified at the time of the purchase. So if that's the case, why over here could the Kohen identify the per, if the birds were b- bought generically? So how could you? How could the Kohen afterwards identify which is the chatos, which is the oshem? It's not clear. Maybe the chatos <coughs> is supposed to be the oshem, the oshem, the the old is supposed to be the 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 the, the chatos. You have a question. Yeah, we, no, no, we said, we said, we said the Yoledas is similar to the Nozir. Again, we said earlier, the Halof Mishina, although Rabbi Yom said Nozir, that if you have money which hasn't been identified, you use it as an Ola, something which is similar to Nazar. What's similar to Nazar? We said Yoledes and the Torah. Right? Okay. So now we said, but even when we say Yoledes, it's, it's coins and not animals, not bullion, and not, what's it called? And not piles of wood. Beams. Wait, no, so that's the asking question. But we say, why is ABC excluded? Because it says coins. So why don't we exclude birds? Why should birds be any better than animals? We said, why are you excluding animals, even though he didn't identify which animals, right? He bought three animals, because it's coins, not animals. So said, he said, it's coins and not birds. So if that's the case, why when the woman purchases two birds, doesn't identify which is the chatos, which is the ola, why is the kohen now able to identify which is what? Maybe the bird, one bird who he identifies as the ola was meant to be the chatos, and the chatos was meant to be the ola. You say, well, halochum should be seen out. Right? But you just finished telling me how Lord Mishin is only when I'm dealing with coins. Coins can be generic. Anything outside coins cannot be generic. They have to be identified. But if either one can go either way, then they can't be used for either because you're not sure which was meant to be what. That's the first question now. Then, then, then you deal with Braille. That has to do with Braille. That's a separate discussion. The woman didn't say that. First of all, we rule halacha a brayer. We rule that you can't do such a thing. It's not effective. Okay.
No, it's, we learn, Reb Chizkiah says, if you buy two birds and she, they're consecrated. Now the Kohen held the term of which is the chattas, which is the ola. Because she, those are the two korbanas she needs. One bird's brought as a chattas in offering, the other brought as a birth offering. But if you just finished telling me <coughs> when, when it has a generic, it doesn't have an identity. We could use a fee that's only one dealing with money, but not anything but money. So why by the birds can the Kohen, could he identify each one? That's the worst question. So he responded, this is really tomorrow's blog. Omar Ula Tamech, he says, according to your understanding, Hotna Rishimulu and Omer, Hevi Sholish Bemis. We learned in the Mishnah, Rishimulu says, if you purchase three animals, Lopirish Haruya Lechatos, excuse Lopirish, yeah, this, we said, he buys, uh, Adnaz has to bring three animals. He said, a Chatos, Adnaz, we're talking about a Chatos, an Ola, and a Shlomi, right? The Chatos is a female. The Ola is a male, and the Shlomim has to be, minimally, has to be two years old. Okay? So let's say he purchased the three, he consecrates all three, but he doesn't identify which is what. Doesn't identify. So what do we say earlier? We said the animal that's brought, that was, that's the female that's brought as a Chatos. The one that's a male that's brought as an Ola, and the one that's two years old, that's a Shlomim. Okay? Shemuel Omer, Hevi shows Bein Velo Pirish, Haruya Lechatos, Tikor Evchatos. The one that's qualified to be the Chatos, he sacrifices the Chatos. Laola Tikra Volo, Shlom Tikra Shlomim, Amai Amrit Behem, Alaf Mifreshes, Dabyo. And the question is, it's our opinion over here. He says, What do you mean? But the animal itself, we're saying, is not being explicit. And but what is that with birds? I mean, it's, it's, over there, clearly, the gender and the age identifies what it is. Over here, you buy two birds. Both birds are identical. They both qualify to be either an Ola or a Chatos. I don't understand the question, but seemingly it has no relevance. Let's see. Tose is the question. Tose is my question. They're, they're not comparable. What kind of comparison? We're saying, if you ask, you have a problem with the birds, why don't you have a problem with Shem Gamliel? I mean, they're not comparable. A woman buys two birds. The two birds are identical. So it says the coin will decide which is the Chattas, which is the Asher, which, which is the Ola. So why buy the three animals, the female, the, the uh, sheep that's two years old, the one's a year old, the male, why could you use it for the, each one specifically? They weren't identified. What do you mean they weren't identified? Of course they're identified. Because each one is based on its age and its gender. It identifies what it is. By the birds, the birds are not identifiable. So that's, that's Tosa's question. Nidami, for behemo, the leel, hoshim kistumim, mairi, gondo yikimu, porim, ahanu, vade hem kistumim, elu behemis, mairi, kam shimu, leel, mairi, be behemo, the chosu, le nozir, ka chashvin, lekum, for roshim. Before it's speaking about animals, when you buy just three animals in terms of their value, well, not to an animals that could be brought as the carbon. Here we're talking about three animals which are unblemished. Each one is fit to be the particular carbon. So there's nothing generic here. This is already, this is considered explicit. What we excluded before was if a person buys three animals, th three animals is like three piles of lumber, it's like three pieces of bullion. That's all it is. Yes, he tosses, terrorist, but I'm tosses. We'll leave this for today.